termite mound. I'll get us into a position where we can see both. They're all coming this way. Oh, magnificent. How's that? So, uh, get, don't get upset. We can see the line there, Fergus. <laughs> ah, the Nkuhuma pride. Fresh off their buffalo kill during yesterday. Can you see the one on the termite mound there? All right, sorry about that. Apparently our signal wasn't looking absolutely fine here. There we go, there's a little... There's a little... Which is wonderful indeed. one just put to the left of that. That? Berg? Uh, yes, that's him there. Down and left. 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 There we are. That's the one. And then the rest of the pride, I think, is just off to the side. As you might be able to hear, there is a vehicle full of people who seemingly think that the lions wish to hear their conversation. Um, here comes another little one up towards the one that you're looking at. If we stay there, we should get it. There we go. A vast attack. Oh, playing. Oh, that was high action. Oh, wonderful stuff. Fergus, what's your shutter speed on there? About 8,000. There we go, just coming out next to us now. Very sweet. I think that's the smallest one, but look how fat it is. Such a big fatty. Now remember everybody, if you would like to ask any questions, tell us anything, give us your impressions of the Nkuhuma Pride, you can do so on hashtag Safari Live. That'll be the best way to do that. Oh. <laughs> it's quite fun. It's always nice to have a bit of an action at a lion sighting, as opposed to uh, what look uh, sort of comatose, virtually dead lions, which these ones certainly not. And there's some playing going on over the right hand side. There they go. And Aaron, you say the Inkahumas, lovely as always. Yes, they are, and so nice to spend a bit more time with them. Obviously, we haven't had them for months on end. Let me just sneak a little bit, it'll help with, get, with moving these bushes out of the way. As I say, they're on a very thick area here. Very thick area here. Let's move a little bit closer in here. Uh, we've got the ones in front there, having a little bit of a play. I've still yet to identify the male cub. Mm, 
And Rebecca, you're wondering if the cubs are still nursing and how old they are over position, I think. Um, Rebecca, what they are, uh, the youngest ones were born in July last year. The oldest ones were born in May last year. And so the oldest ones are coming up on a year, and the youngest ones are, well, just shy of that, sort of three months shy of a year. And then they are not still suckling. They should have stopped suckling at six months or so. But quite interestingly, we saw some of the older ones trying to suckle the other day which was a bit bizarre. I'm going to move again, Ferg, just so that we can get a view of the playing cubs. Oh, they're coming back here. Sorry. Little ones are all in amongst the thickets. And in out into into the sun. Alright, apparently we don't have a great signal, so we're going to head out of here. I'm not sure who we're going to. Oh, we're going to go to Jamie. Let's go and get an update on the alarm calls she's been following.